So there's this poll being passed around online this morning that I wanted to share with you guys, which I think really goes to show the state between the cavernous divide between developers and the customers of video games. Hi, everybody. I'm Craig. Welcome to the channel. It's the Side Scrollers Podcast channel. We're going to be live today at 11 a.m. Central Time. Do me a favor. If you see the live thing around the avatar on the channel, do me a favor. Come join the show. We'd love for you guys to meet, uh, join us. We're here we're live with Razor Fist today. Okay. So with that said, over on NeoGAF, remember NeoGAF? That was a thing, right? It, and I guess it still is a thing, still around, but it was considered much bigger back in the day when message boards, before like social media, message boards and stuff. Well, on NeoGAF, there was a poll that was posted a couple days ago in their gaming discussion thread. And it has just about 700 votes right now. And I wanted to bring it up. The question is very simple. Is inclusion important to you in video games? And you can see the landslide voting right here with 95% of people saying no and 5% of people saying yes. Now, we're going to dig into this a little bit deeper because I find this like really fascinating and interesting right here. Now, this is not on a, uh, I would say this is not considered a politically ideologically driven uh, gaming discussion thread at all, based off of what I can see. This is not, this doesn't lean left. It doesn't lean right. It's just a group of people who get together and talk about video games. And I think this is pretty damn accurate right here when it comes to 95% of people who just really don't care. And some of the responses here, I think really, uh, go a long way in, in, and how a lot of people feel this person says to be honest i don't give a rat's ass right what what jet race or gender of the of the player i play as how, how <laughs> make it a good effing game and i'll play it right i think that's the thing that we've heard continuously over and over again uh this person says speaking as a brown guy who comes from a non-christian background nope doesn't affect me at all my opinion on this is that if i don't if i don't like something or if i get offended i just don't watch play read it uh, and I don't think it should be banned. My two cents. Wow. It's almost like, it's almost common sense, but common sense is extremely rare these days. We all understand that at least it, it's there, but people just don't want to accept common sense, which is crazy. Um, nah, seems incredibly restrictive to do so not for inclusion sakes, but more of a mindset thing. Of course. Um, <laughs> of course I don't give a shit right here. Uh, note that I want developers to develop games based on, on their ideas for story and the world they are creating, not a checklist to try to appease every crowd. We play games to escape the bullshit of everyday life. Make games fun again. Man, this what a great statement. We play games to escape the bullshit of everyday life. I know, I know that this person, Dream Station over here, certainly is not alone in this statement because it is, that is uh, so common sense. And that's the thing people forget about. These are video games. These are games that are meant to escape from reality, take you away from the mundane on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, and there are people who like to dig in and be, be a, and, and be a part of an immersive world. That's fine. But why are you a part of that immersive world? Because you, because you're trying to escape from reality. <laughs> this hook shot over here says, I'm not a fat Italian, a blue hedgehog or a big boobed archeologist and never felt the need, need to be growing up. I can tell the difference between games and reality. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now I posted over on X, I saw this and I just said, it's interesting. This is a real interesting idea. And, but I, I also felt that with this only being 691 votes, I felt like I should do a poll as well, because I, I think that when it comes to, um, the general rule of thought is that society is reflected with a thousand votes. That's generally the, it's been the, traditionally the mainstream media's, uh, thought process pretty much since polling began back in the day. If you can hit to a thousand votes, that is an accurate representation of society. I think that we can reach a thousand votes over on my poll over on X. Uh, right now we're currently sitting at 461. So if you guys want to go vote on this, I just posted this just a little bit ago. And you know, my, uh, my poll is obviously, uh, you know, much different. Well, not even much different. It's 97% to 3%. So it's, it's still pretty accurate, which goes back to you, my friend are the normal man. You are the one who, who doesn't, who like has no interest in any of this stuff, just because you just want to have fun when you play games. And I know that our audience reflects this, but I'll tell you what, here's the big issue with this is that the people that 3%, that 5%, they're the ones who are writing about video games, right? They're the ones who are in the developers positions, the developers chairs, or the one making decisions or the uh, ones who are consultants at these video game developers, right? 
Case in point, we go back to our friend over at, over at Kotaku, the Kotaku blogger herself, Alyssa Mercante. She says, try and remember, this is a vocal minority whose, whose influence is artificially ballooned by sites like X and YouTube rewarding rage bait. Real people in gaming don't give a fuck about the shit they're screaming about. Now, this is her talking about uh, the idea of, of the things that, that we, we talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, all the... DEI and, and the idea of is inclusivity important to you and Alyssa and much of Kotaku, they clearly are in that 3%, which goes back to what I stated at the beginning. There is a clear divide between the people who write the people who develop and the people who are customers of this, of this product right here. Now, as pointed out by a master of TDS over here, I want to see his response as well. It says Alyssa's in rare form today. If we're just a vocal minority, why even bother posting about us? Why uh, wouldn't ignoring us be a smarter move unless you've, uh, unless you've realized the truth that we're not a minority and that scares you. And that's just it. If the minority, if the minority of people don't care about this or, or uh, you know, along the way, why are we developing for the 3% or the 5%? It is not shown at all to be a successful business strategy one bit along the way. But with all that said, it's an interesting conversation. We're going to continue this conversation over on Side Scrollers this morning. Join us at 11 a.m. Central Time with, with once again, Razor Fist. Do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Just a quick one this morning right here. Go watch another video right here, and we'll see you guys live at 11 a.m. Central Time. Join the 101,000 normal men as we continue to grow every single day. Appreciate you guys.